Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Paranormal Biker. Today's conversational topic is about fish. Let's jump right into it. Okay. So, once again, my 55 is on YouTube. So, today's reason for this is uh, one of my fish uh, was dead this morning. Uh, it's a fish that I had for probably two months, maybe three. But anyway, it was one of my angels. Uh, it was, he was poked off up in there, you know, deader than all get out. And I don't know why. I have a uh, very happy community. I want to say that my habitat is in uh, proper, good working order as far as parameters and temperatures and just substance being inside this aquarium. Um, you know, if y'all followed my other fish videos, you know, you know that I have uh, two canister filters down below, three sponge filters across the back. Uh, yeah, so. But so let's uh, let's test the uh, the parameters of the water, you know. Let's you know what, guys? I've never seen a glass catfish stomach swollen up like that. And he's full grown, he's big. I've had him for probably six months. But he's, his stomach's a big one. Like he, uh, like he <laughs> overhate at the Thanksgiving table. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm hoping that I'm not overfeeding these guys. Um, I have a uh, a pretty good rule of thumb was don't put food in your tank that can't be eaten by the time it falls to the bottom. Uh, so typically I give them about 20 or 30 seconds worth of food. I'll watch them eat it. I'll spike the tank just a little bit more. And uh, yeah watch them eat that and then I just stop and then when the lights go off I throw in some algae wafers two algae wafers and then a few sinking pellets for the uh, substrate critters you know uh, which I do have I do have you know I'm looking at I'm looking at this angel fish and she's displaying colors I've never seen before you know, I could be dealing with a, uh, I could be dealing with some kind of erratic behavior between these two full grown. Let me show you. You know, I've never seen that orangish red come out on her like that, but you know, these two have been nailing each other pretty good. And I wonder if that little one just got up in the middle of all that. And they, uh, cause you, you can see their fins they're probably fighting her fins have gotten torn up a little bit you know if they just didn't pester the hell out of that smaller one which the smaller one was a little bit smaller than him and then that's why he died but it's weird because uh you know he uh the one that passed away i'm gonna call it a he i think it was a he you know due to uh the way his forehead was shaped but you never know until they pair off and breed uh he was a feisty little guy you know he He'd go after both of them, but both of these angels. Yeah. So anyway, this is all new to me. I'm kind of shooting from the hip on this. Um, yeah, that stomach of this glass catfish right here really. <laughs> I'm kind of befuddled. You know, I've never seen that. Uh, you know, a lot of y'all. Or people who are going to watch this are going to be like, oh, well, you know, it's your food. Or, you know, the conversation is going to be revolving around the quantity and type. 
and uh, yeah, just for the uh, just for the record, you know, I'll don't want to make this an extremely long-winded video you know I'm just kind of sourcing for help if any y'all have had this situation but let me show you how I rotate so <clears throat> this right here goes to my betas and my betas they'll eat that and then I actually have a uh, formulated pellet for them that I kind of go back and forth on um, this goes it's, it's a uh, tetra crisp that goes in the tank and all this is rotated all this doesn't go in the tank at one time i've been trying these little micro wafers uh the fish seem to love these little micro wafers and this is from a local pet store that i go to um you know they make it and it's basically made out of the same stuff that their uh, algae wafers are made out of and Walmart Pleco wafers and kind of cringe when you look at the uh, the back you know <laughs> wheat meal uh, oatmeal cornstarch it's not high quality stuff it's actually kind of pathetic and I should probably stop giving my fish this but I'll take two of these guys and I'll break them up into like fours and I scatter them across the tank and before like the quarries and my reticulous loaches get a hold of them, uh, the uh, red claw crabs I have in there jump down and snatch them up. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, get some samples of some water and we'll uh, check the water uh, parameters together. I would like to also add uh, twice a week, sometimes three times a week, when I rotate my uh, my feeding see I've never seen him swim like that I give uh, blood worms mysis shrimp and sometimes plankton yeah so I keep a uh, standby medical tank well, wow. Anyway, I keep a standby medical tank um, with uh, Epsom salt. And I'm going to try to get that uh, glass catfish out and run it for about 15 minutes in this Epsom salt. Okay, so I got my aerator in there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he can handle this. It's kind of hard to see him with the light. So let's find out. Look like he's just constipated. Hopefully he didn't hemorrhage. Let me get some better light on. And we'll see what this Epsom salt bath does. Yes, I don't know if y'all, any of y'all use Epsom salt on your fish, but uh, yeah, I've had pretty good luck uh, with scaled fish running Epsom salt. You know, it's just a bath. You can't leave them in it. Uh, it will poison and kill them. But, uh, yeah. And uh, it's just like human beings, man. It uh, induces the poop. <laughs> so, we're going to see if he uh, drops uh, some of this body weight in this tank. All right, got it out. Let's get started. We're going to start with pH. Okay, somewhere between 7.6 and 7.2. Double it up this time. Next is ammonia. All right, just add a number two in. Alexa, set a five minute timer. Second timer, 
Five minutes, starting now. Time to do the nitrite. Time to add number two. Alexa, start a five minute timer. Third timer, five minutes, starting now. Okay, so the ammonia one just went off. As far as uh, my ammonia timer, okay. So. I'm gonna call it between zero and a quarter. Or zero, yeah. And uh, 0 0.25 parts per million and zero parts per million. So I'm gonna call that. Okay, so definitively saying pH is in order, ammonia is in order, the nitrites are in order, and I'm still waiting on the time for this. All right, so I just uh, took the glass catfish out, and he just went around the rock. So we'll see how he does. If y'all know anything about these ghost glass catfish, they cap they capture them in the wild. All right, so last timer went off. Just to give you, okay, that's what we're looking at in color. Okay, so we're not orange and we're not hard yellow either. So we're gonna be somewhere between 5.0 and zero of the parts per million. That still is okay operating range. So the complicated question is, what the hell happened to my angelfish? I guess uh, at this point in time, I'm just going to say that it was probably in some kind of nasty fight last night or this morning when I turned the, uh, turned the lights on and it uh, overstressed itself, probably fighting and passed away. I have not a clue what else it could be. Uh, I inspected the fish. The fish did not have hit marks, uh, did not have a swollen belly. I don't know. Maybe uh, some of y'all could help. Anyway, I appreciate you watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification icon. And yeah, next time I come out with uh, one of my random videos, uh, you're informed. Thanks, guys.